But what am I doing with this Yoshi is the question. Seems like a pain in the ass. Zone 3 Manufacturing. Ooh. Okay. Can I not touch? Yeah, okay, I can't touch that red. I just, I thought, I thought I couldn't touch the red, but. Here we go. Fuck. When the fuck am I gonna play Dark Souls 2? Um, never. I don't know, I'll probably play it. Yeah, I'll probably play it. Probably after I replay the first two though. Okay, what are we doing here? Man, this level's fucking hard. I should play the Bloodborne DLC. Yeah, I'm gonna replay Bloodborne and, um, and Dark Souls 1 uh, this year. like I just I felt like I just went through it I felt like that platform just didn't work I didn't do platforming hmm. bandic thank you for that sub no no this is hard damn you Any unique mechanics in this hack? Yeah, a lot. Uh, there's this cool tutorial right at the beginning. <laughs> That's a cool moment. That was weird. Yeah, I liked a whole lot of things about Bloodborne. I'd say Bloodborne was probably my favorite first play of the games. Like, it was my favorite of the three goals that I played. Well, four if you count Sekiro. And, um, like, it was my favorite first play, but there were things that, like, I, I, I missed about just regular playing old Dark Souls. I just think, like, you can be a bit more aggressive in it, which I like. I like the fact that you only really needed a grind for health when there was a boss fight. Oh my god, this is wild. This is a cool level. What the fuck am I doing there? Really love the Wario sprite. Wario better than Mario. Hot take. Wario and Mario are the same person. Wario is Mario's Tyler Durden.
No! Uh, easily my favorite Aguni hack that I've played. This will be my third Aguni hack. This is easily my favorite one. It's not even close. This blows Ryu 1 and 2 out of the water. That didn't work. I see episode 2 of McMillions. Fuck yeah, I did. McMillions is the best show ever. That shit get, it's, it gets... I was like, after the end of episode 1, I was like, there can't be that many episodes. It's like... How deep can this go? And then, like, it just keeps going and going and going, and it ends up being like a high, you know, high mob boss amount of crime, and it's just like. Do I just need to go right away there? not suck. That's what you need to do. Yeah, I need to not suck. I need to do one jump on that donut. Is what I need to do. I need to do two jumps on that donut. Dookie. Rip. Crap. Something everywhere and it just penetrates you so quickly that's actually a good move I really like that move See what I need to do. Oh, okay. RE5 is the best Resident Evil Resident Evil game? Fight you? I mean, no, I'm not gonna fight you just for being like completely wrong about such a meaningless topic. Do you want my definitive Resident Evil tier list? We need to go to that tier maker and start S-tiering these out. The most recent one, Resident Evil 2 Remake. It was awesome. Yeah, I really enjoyed the remake. A lot. Isn't that one called Biohazard? No, the, the series is called Biohazard in Japan. That's what Resident Evil series is called in Japan, is Biohazard. I got nervous there. I got nervous. 
Why doesn't he look like Tingle? Like Wario looks like Tingle in this. I own seven on PlayStation and I own PlayStation VR. Setting up PlayStation VR like seems like a pain in the ass. And like, how do I read chat with PlayStation VR? Yeah. Oh. Oh, this is cool. You can set up chat inside PlayStation VR. Get Barb to come to my house and read chat. Dude, you guys know how expensive that would be for me? Oh. I can't do that. I don't have a, I don't have a VR system for my PC right now. I'm gonna get the um, the index when it comes out. I don't think you're worth it. I just haven't, there hasn't, there literally has not been a game that I've wanted to stream. I mean, I like Beat Saber, but it, Beat Saber wasn't worth me getting a thousand dollar setup. Like that's lo a losing proposition for me. That's what's kept me from playing it is a lot of people love like a lot of everyone that I've talked to says like no you gotta play Resident Evil 7 in VR the first time. I have no idea what I'm doing. Lady Pooh can read chat for me? Well who's gonna who's gonna watch my baby? Barb can watch the baby? I'm gonna fly Barb out to be my babysitter. I don't think y'all are comprehending how little Barb would wanna do that. A and B. What am I doing here? And B, how expensive that would be for me. No, I haven't played Dead Space yet. I imagine Barb's is bigger than mine. My child play in VR and I'll read chat. Good idea. See, now we're getting to actual solutions. I don't know what I'm doing right there. Yeah, I have no idea what I'm doing. Silent Hill 1 and 2 would be the two games that I think are probably the games that like made me legitimately scared as a youth. Yeah, I'll get, I'll grant those games. Yeah, those, those would be the games. Silent Hill 1, yeah, Silent Hill 1 and Silent Hill 2. You know what it is? It's the little babies with knives. They're terrifying. And the pyramid guy that rapes you. I think for me, for jump scares to work, you have to have like legitimate fear of something happening first, right? Oh! <laughs> Any more multiplayer horror games?
Oh, I almost missed it. Damn it. What exit is this? I don't know. We gotta be, I mean, honestly, we've been flown through a good amount already. Uh, YouTube Pooh's gonna, we're, he's gonna start catching, catching up, though. Sometime around June, I have faith that YouTube Pooh's gonna, he's gonna get it all together. The other thing with being late allows me to do is it allows me to do speedruns. You know what I mean? And I can do speedruns. Like, when I get ahead of the game with YouTube, I can do speedruns on stream and not, you know, feel like I have to do something for YouTube. ever a time well, that was wild if there's ever a time for ESPN style play-by-play -play, you want me to ESPN style play-by-play -play my own game he's jumping back and forth loses loses the P switch you can record anything you want on the soundboard I get I can record something right now we record me saying roof Wait. roof 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 Hey, suck my fucking dick, chat. Hey, suck my fucking dick, chat. Oh, see right there, boom. Hey, chat, you're sexy as hell. Hey, chat, you're sexy as hell. Hey, chat, hey, hey, chat, hey, 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 chat, hey, chat, hey, chat, you're sexy as hell. There you go. And then I want to bounce off of it right there. Got it. Got it. Okay. We've got this, y'all. We've got this. No. It's, a, it's kind of funny because there's someone out there at ground control that uses poo for initials for all their high scores. And they have high scores on a lot of games. So whenever I come in, people think it's me, but it's definitely not me. I do use poo for my initials, but I don't have a high score on Tetris. Appreciate it though. Yeah, go to go to your local arcade and leave the initials boo for me. Yeah. I picked that name so I could have a lot of high high scores at my local arcade, that's why. People would think it's me. Um Zallard was playing Zallard beat a punch out high score at some place in Florida and it was who had the former high score. I don't think it was the same guy. Oh, we made it. And he tweeted at me. He's like, hey, is this you? And I was like, no, no, it wasn't. Ass is probably the most common one, right? But not every game lets you put in ass. A lot of games will, will not let you put in ass. All right, we're going into Star World. That's where we're going. 
I should do Danger Zone and GDQ. I don't think that would be a good idea. Andromeda. Do I believe in gravity? Uh, what is going on here? Do I believe in magic? I do. What the fuck? Maybe I should go down this pipe. Yeah. Where can you find a delicious Red Bull? In... Ooh, that didn't work. Uh, at your local delicious grocery store. doing right there I didn't make much sense oh I need it okay I see I need the block And then we get back on it. This is cool. Okay, this is a cool level. This is a cool ass level. I bet this is a pretty sexy speed run, honestly, when it's all done. This is from Thousand Year Door. Then I need to jump on the other saw. It does sound like Streets of Rage music. Did I just fuck myself? Yeah, I did. Damn it. <laughs> I saw it happening too. It was like a slow death. bit emo you do sometimes you're making a level and you're going through a bit of an emo phase it's okay we've all been there we've all had a bit of an emo phase like let's be honest oh i need to jump on those one time oh wheel of fate thank you for that sub There we go, in there. That was the cool ass section. Oh, I see. I'm dead, aren't I? Fuck, am I gonna have to start all over? Oh, okay, no. What the hell is going on here? This is weird. can't spin on that it's like a real fish no let me up let me up I actually really like low gravity stuff. I don't know. I like when it changes Mario's physics. Yeah, I mean, obviously, 
I'm relatively biased about Grand Pooh World 2. What's my second favorite? Invictus? Bra and probably Grand Pooh World 1. Uh, then Invictus. Then Dram 1. Um, maybe Sheffy World 2 is up there pretty high as well. I fucked up. God damn it. Oh, Sheffy 2? Yeah, Sheffy 2 kicks your, kicks ass because, well, it it's, like, weird because you have to, like, learn midairs, but you have to, like, relearn midairs. They're not, like, perfect Mario World midairs. They're just a little interesting. I go in to do Sheffy 2 at GDQ. Wontak has the world record on that. I think it's a pretty damn good world record from what I understand, too. I've never played Sheffy 2. Um, speed ran it. Okay, I see what I need to do. Alright, here we go. We're gonna beat it this time. Do you believe in me? I need to believe in me? Oh, I believe in me, baby. I, I miss. I miss. I hesitated. I hesitated. You can't hesitate. You gotta go. Good luck with garlic. Oh, this hack's awesome. Yeah, the midair, I mean, you're... You gotta hit... You're just hitting a multitude of buttons. Exactly. That's what makes it so hard. It's not like any individual move in a midair is hard. It's just... Chevy 2 also has, like... A required P-Jump in Star World, which is, like, just gangster. There we go. Fuck that up. Yeah, that didn't work. I need to respect that Yoshi. Is that what you're saying? The poor baby Yoshi? Dude. Yoshis want nothing more than to die for Mario. I don't know why you guys worry about it so much. What am I doing with this Yoshi is the question. I'm gonna wait for him to come back to me. I'm gonna wait for him. There we go. Ah, uh, okay. I got it. I got it. This is a cool ass level. <laughs> the swamp, the swamp wraps around the screen and then hits me in the head. I think I need to keep the Yoshi. Yeah, I think I need to keep the Yoshi right there, don't I? There was a thwomp in my face right there, y'all. <laughs> you gotta go fast. Oh! I didn't see that I was below the screen. I was looking up. This is a sick-ass level. <laughs> yeah, this level is fucking sick.
Oh! I see where I'm going. Okay, I gotta remember the screen can wrap. The screen can wrap. I have to throw the shell up! Um, throw it up twice? That would make sense. I think that's fair. That's a fair assessment. Chat, normally I, normally I think y'all give horrible suggestions, but that was a good suggestion, chat. Oh my god, this is wild. All right, here we go. Throw the shell up, up again on that. Okay, and then we're gonna go in the pipe. That's what we're ultimately trying to do. We're trying to go in the pipe that's at the bottom through the top. Makes sense, right? We all understand what's going on. No. No, come on. And then it immediately sucks me off. Yeah, it's a pro that's before anyone's like phrasing. That's the proper terminology, guys. Oh. Uh, Invictus had the platform warp. I don't think Dram 2 had a platform warp in it, did it? Yeah, I don't remember that. I just gotta hope. Oh my god, we hit it. We hit it first try. Shit. Wait, what the fuck is happening here? I can't, so I can't let that shell hit. And I have to grab the shells from here. I have to grab these from here. This seems like a pain in the ass. Dude. Why did I... Oh my god, this is hard. This is very hard. Yeah, the, the saw makes this super hard. The saw is just hunting you. <laughs> this is ridiculous. It is a pretty cool boss fight, I gotta admit. But I, how many times do I got to hit the fucking ghosts? No. Yeah, this is this is one of the hardest 
non Bowser boss fights I've ever played against, honestly. I mean, I don't think it's a bad boss fight. Well, yeah, I mean, it's more important to keep rhythm because I feel like the saw gets like smaller. Damn it. I don't think that has anything to do with it. Get it. Oh my god. Oh my god. I was so I was so close and nervous about that one. Good level. Good level. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. It really helps the channel out. See you next time.